Um, my name is Michelle Rippey, and I teach kindergarten at Salinas Elementary and at the Fairfield Tustin Unified School District. I've been teaching 22 years. It's kind of in my blood. So my grandma was a teacher. My mom's mom was a teacher here in Fairfield at Gomer School, the oldest school here. And my dad was a teacher for 30 years at Travis. And I just, I guess there never was a time I wasn't a teacher. I always knew I wanted to become a teacher. Oh, kindergarten. So kindergarten is fun. I've loved kindergarten. I've always wanted to be a kindergarten teacher. Um, the kids are, I don't think there's ever a day they don't say something that makes you laugh or makes you realize why you're teaching. So, um, typical day in my classroom is, you know, whole group stuff, um, fun activities. They're learning without realizing they're learning by with fun. So, that's a typical fun day in my kindergarten class. I just, I enjoy going to work. I enjoy teaching them. I don't feel like it's work, really. Um, I taught first grade for a couple years and I dabbled in another grade, but realized kindergarten was my calling and I went back. So the bulk of my years teaching is kindergarten, probably 20 of it is kindergarten. <laughs> you know, I'm always there for colleagues. I like to give back to new teachers, see how you can help them, support them. You may make a comment and they go, oh wow, I might try that too. And you may realize when their frustrating day became better because you said, hey, I've tried this, maybe you should try it. Also, I think um, building that parent involvement and the kids and letting them know it's, it's all our classroom, not mine. It's harder on the parents than it is the kid. Kids love structure. So if you set the structure in your classroom and you build that foundation for them, they love to come, you know. I mean, I've had parents cry <laughs> more than kids, but I always tell them, trust me, if they continue to cry more than five minutes, I'm calling you, I'm, you know. But there hasn't been a kid where you just kind of bring them in and hey, that's what we're doing, you know, look at your friends. And so, yeah, it's, it's harder on parents. <laughs> I've had a couple of kids in the past few years where they may struggle where you realize, you know, they may say a word or two that you're like, wow, would you say that to your mom? And they go, I don't have a mom. And then you realize, you step back and go, okay, now I know where it's coming from. So you step back and go, okay, now we're gonna go from here. And then you build that bond. My parents mostly, because they're so supportive. My dad has now passed, but for him, I wish he could be here, but thank you to him. My husband and my kids for being always supportive of me and always coming to help whenever I needed them, bringing something or coming to volunteer in my classroom or just counting out papers. And of course, my colleagues and principal, they've always been never ending supportive so I mean I've never been in a school that I haven't enjoyed being at and you know everybody.